I have five Apple chargers that I'm going to use to charge my iPhone 17 Pro Max from 30% to 80%. So I have the 12 watt super old version that takes USB-A. The rest of these are USB-C. So I have the 20 watt version right here, single USB-C, 30 watt USB-C, 35 watt dual port USB-C. However, I'm only going to be using one port so I can get the maximum 35 watts out of it. And I have the latest 40 watt version. And this thing can actually go up to 60 watt max, but on the iPhone it should it should be capped to 40 watts because that's what the iPhone takes. I will be using the Apple cable, and because this is a super old one with USB-A, I'll just use a regular USB-A to USB-C cable. I'm going to show you guys each charger in full view, and it did take me several days to do this video because I had to wait for the phone to discharge. But then I will put them all side by side. They all started at 30%, and we're going to start off the timers on each. In fact, I started it as soon as it got to 30% and I'll stop the timer exactly when it gets to 80%. And essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post the time because I'm not showing the timer here, but uh, obviously I sped up the video quite a bit. Otherwise this would take a lot longer, especially with the 12 watt charger. But what was most fascinating with this was that the 35 watt charger actually finished first. Now it was only charging one device at a time, but I was expecting it for it to be the 40 watt but no actually the 35 watt finished first followed closely um, a few minutes later it was the 40 watts and then 30 watts and 40 watts were around the same the 30 watts was just slightly behind the 40 watts so at 28 minutes 38 seconds um, 35 and then 40 finishes then shortly after um, the 30 watt finishes and then a few minutes later about nine minutes after the 30 watt finishes roughly the 20 watt finishes and then I changed the video speed to 100 um, so I double the speed and the 12 watt is still taking its time in fact when you plug it in the iPhone does say slow charger but again the 35 watt was the most impressive I actually ran this test twice because the first time I charged the 35 watt it was actually blurry and um, but it still finished the fastest it's just the camera was focusing on something else so you could still kind of see it but not as good so I'm like let me just run the test again um, and at that time I had already set a battery limit of 80% since I'm charging to 80% anyways but yeah huge difference between the 12 watt and the rest of them not much of a difference between the 30 to 40 watts and the 35 watt actually beat both of them now it's a few minute difference so there's not a huge difference between them but Again, very surprising, but the fact that the 35 watt can charge two devices at a time, granted if it's charging two devices at a time, it can't charge this fast. But the winner is clearly the 35 watt in terms of charging the iPhone. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you guys did, smash the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.